last question. All right, there's plenty more, maybe up, right, right behind you. Thank you. Um, um, as a young Malaysian working and living in the UK, hearing scandals like this is incredibly <coughs> disheartening. Um, it can you know, push away any idea of wanting to go home and make a difference and a positive change. Um, so my question is, what would, your, what would be your word of advice to the Malaysian youth who are left feeling powerless and incredibly disenfranchised? Well, I, you know, I, I think one of the, you know, the worst things that's happened to Malaysia has been this brain drain of disenchanted young people, you know, the cleverest go. And, um, you know, that leaves, you know, that leaves behind the most vulnerable. Uh, and, you know, I would say if you wanted to do something for your country, you know, your, your duty is to go back. Um, and um, I, I think it's also quite telling uh, that, uh, you know, Najib has, has started to dramatically slash funding for foreign students, particularly to places like the UK, because, you know, they're the pesky ones that come back with all these sort of, you know, kind of senses of self-entitlement, you know, big gobs and democratic attitudes. <laughs> he's, sending, he's sending them all off to, um, you know, uh, get a religious education in Egypt and Saudi Arabia at the moment, which is, which is affecting, affecting the way things used to be done in Malaysia. So, please go back. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Maybe we ended on that note. Mm. Uh, just to inform you, we have these events once a week. We talk about uh, Indonesia next uh, week, political corruption in Indonesia. <laughs> so you're all invited to um, attend. And uh, please join me one more time to thank Claire for <laughs>